Um, I've got my uh, monster clay underneath my uh, swing arm lamp and I'm softening it up so that I can put it through my pasta machine. I'll show you that process. This is my pasta machine. You uh, put the crank in and uh, you got two rollers that turn and you put your clay through there to give it a flat surface. You can adjust the, the uh, space between the rollers with this little knob on the side by pulling it out and adjusting it until you got to where you like it. These are the rollers uh, that you uh, put the uh, clay through, the flattened clay. Um, these are for wide uh, noodles and this is for the uh, spaghetti noodles. I use this for the fringe. And all you do is just take uh, the handle out and put it back into the uh, thing and you roll the, uh, the roller and it comes out the bottom. I'll show you all that uh, once I get the uh, uh, monster clay ready to go for this uh, demonstration. I'm using monster clay instead of my normal J-Mac clay and uh, it's because I'm making fringe and I want the uh, the structure of the monster clay for the fringe because it holds its shape. So when you got the clay, the monster clay or the J-Mac clay, just warm and just malleable. That's the uh, stage you want the uh, clay in to uh, put through the rollers. You don't want to put the clay through the rollers when it's uh, too soft because it'll stick to the rollers. And then I'm just going to roll out a little bit. This makes it easier for it to go through the uh, rollers. Oh, and uh, then you just uh, line up your clay with the narrow end of the uh, tube at the bottom where the rollers meet. Then you hold it while you slowly, if you go fast, it'll make little bubbles. And then the uh, clay comes out the bottom part of the uh, rollers in a flat uh, form. Set to the thickness you wanted. All right, now you got the uh, clay flattened out and you put the, uh, the handle in the proper hole and uh, then you just hold it up there over the uh, rollers and it just takes it right in. And you have to guide it through because if you don't, it'll drift off to the side and give you some bad karma. <laughs> now the clay comes out the other side like little fringes. Then you lay it out on something to hold it until you're ready to use it. And in this case I'm using a piece of foam. Alright, that's the uh, process for making fringe. Lovely little machine that you can get at any uh, bakery shop or where they sell cooking supplies. It's, it's wonderful. I, I remember once I was using this in a, a gallery in Palm uh, Desert in California and I was making uh, flat clay for uh, something. I can't remember what it was. And a group of uh, tourists from Italy came in and saw me using a pasta machine for clay and they stood there laughing. I didn't understand a thing they said, but one of them kind of indicated that they make these over where they live. And I said, I know. <laughs> All right, that's how to use a pasta machine. Uh, I'd like to ask you to, uh, if you enjoy my videos, share them, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. And uh, click the little bell next to the subscription button so that you uh, get updates. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.